Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is a Gigabyte Bricks mini gaming PC. Dating back to 2014, this little red box features a quad core CPU and dedicated AMD R9M 275X graphics. Back in the day this was sold as a do-it-yourself bare bones system requiring the end user to add an SSD and RAM of their choice. This one's got a 240 gig M2 drive and 16 gigs of DDR3L. When I first turned it on, I was surprised at how noisy it was, though it was clear from the fans and the smell that the previous owner must have smoked more than a Victorian era factory chimney. The system actually comes apart really easily and this allowed me to clean up the fans and remove any dust from the rest of the components. Thanks to my non-traditional way of, well I don't really know what I'm doing here, uh, the system ran and smelled good as new. Apparently Windows 10 doesn't agree with the display drivers that this uses, so instead of installing 10 and setting myself up for hours of potential frustration, I instead installed good old Windows 7 just in case. Admittedly, I still had a problem with driver installation and I found that the only way for the system to recognize the GPU was to actually use the ancient drivers provided on the Gigabyte website. After installing everything else and spending the day with this machine, it's safe to say that from a general usage standpoint, this is still a pretty snappy system. By default, the Gigabyte bricks will switch between the onboard 8550G graphics and the more powerful M275X GPU, depending on what you're doing. Though when it comes to gaming, the faster discrete option will be utilized, but the problem isn't with the graphics, it's with the weak processor. The M275X would probably still do okay, albeit with reduced resolutions in 2021, but the CPU is, for lack of a better word, bad. It's not uncommon to see the processor maxing out in games, with the GPU left begging for a more capable companion. This machine is also constantly loud and runs very warm. Sometimes the temperatures soar for no apparent reason and at one point the CPU hit 69 degrees and the GPU hit 91 and all I was doing was a whole lot of nothing. Imagine if I ran Crisis on this thing. It starts overheating at the site of the Windows 7 Aero theme so I dread to think what would happen with one of the most demanding games in existence. You're not doing anything. Why? Are you making so much noise? Actually, let's try it. Now you may be wondering why you're seeing a black screen. Uh, that is because after about 11 seconds of crisis, the system switched off. With that said, it can still play other games without issue. GTA 5, for example, will run with an Xbox 360-like 720p and 30fps. There were a couple of teething problems at first, but these soon ironed themselves out. This PC isn't much older than the PC release of GTA 5 itself and back in 2015 it was probably one of the most demanding AAA releases available. Again though, it is the CPU that shows its age more so than the graphics card and usually when we look at older systems it's the other way around. I'm not sure if that's a testament to how good this mobile GPU is or just how weak the CPU is. CSGO is also playable to an extent, though this time both CPU and GPU took it in turns to be the limiting factor. The average and percentile figures were taken from combining the results from three online games, but the footage is from a bot match. If you're wondering about the lack of direct screen capture today, it's because my capture box didn't want to work at first, though typically as I sit here and write this script, it seems to be working just fine. Finally, the best performing game of the day is up next, which is Fortnite. Performance mode with the high textures and far view distance means that 60 FPS on occasion isn't too much to ask. I don't think this machine is the best example of what Gigabyte have to offer. Even though some newer Bricks models might have weaker components, they do run a lot cooler and quieter, which makes them much more pleasant to use as everyday machines. And if you're limited on space or want something that doesn't use that much power, I'd certainly recommend one, just not this one. But then again, it is about seven years old and pretty hard to find these days. Nonetheless, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.